they rally in the person. This is an event race. We are in the same community. Or are we not? No. No. You want me to stand next to your camera? No, I'm okay, thank you. Hey guys, I know you haven't seen me for a little while. It's because I've taken a break from politics. I'll find the right way to tell you all about that story one day, but today's not that day. But you're here for a different reason, and so am I. Last night, I went to Ride Council's meeting. Garbage collection and road maintenance. Pretty boring, right? Speak on my motion uh, regarding the recycling of plastic bottle tops to mobility aids and soft plastic waste to park furniture trial. Uh, we who spent... See, Ride Council's been in the news lately. Allegations of corruption, huge sums. We're talking millions upon tens of millions of dollars. I'll make a video on the detail of this another time if this one takes off. So, last night's council meeting was a pretty big deal. Security was tight. No video recording, no audio recording. And council has pulled down the only stream that was up from last night. Who knows why? All I have for you two is my retelling from the next day of what happened last night. We begun with the general manager and the mayor locking the doors after only 50 of us could get in, but almost 100 outside still wanted to get in but couldn't because of fire codes. Mm. Independent councillor Maggio was the most upset about this and took any opportunity he could to interject and give him hell that he couldn't have the rest of the people in. The main reason for the day was that the Liberals had an extraordinary motion they wanted to pass and beyond asking for the Deputy Mayor to step down was that they also wanted the Mayor to step down. That was a pretty big motion and it was all in one big four-part hard-to-bite-off chunk. The Liberal councillors spoke and they spoke the rhetoric as you'd expect. Um, had some good points in there but by and large it was quite focused on the Labour Party. And the Labour Party also spoke, and by and large, it was also focused on uh, the Liberal Party. Um, one of the Labour councillors, Edwina Clifton, um, took a moment to question the uh, council staff. I found this a little bit surprising because the questioning took the tone of a hearing or a trial. It was quite pointed and it was almost aggressive at points. The council staff, to their credit, did a great job of answering questions to a yes or a no rather than a whiff or waffle as they went. Now, as things went on, I also got a spoke chance to speak as well. Briefly paraphrased, I spoke about truth. It's difficult to know what is true. Um, these situations are complex and detailed. I spoke about my time living on different continents and different cultures and what's worked and didn't work for them. The main thrust of what I had to say was corruption. The stench of it is just disgusting to me. I've seen that it poisons the well of generations. No amount of public money is ever going to fix that anyway. Um, I reminded them all that every lie that they tell, regardless of political colour, will incur a debt that will be repaid not by any of them, but by future citizens and councils of the community that is right. One of the good points that one of the councillors brought up is that councillors only get about twenty or thirty thousand dollars a year for uh, being a councillor. Yet Simon Zhao, the person in question, had opened a dedicated office for his campaign. That was when we got to hear um, the key man of the hour, Simon Zhao, speak. I believe Simon stood up and he started giving a rousing speech that would have been just what would have suited the Chinese Politburo. He told Chinese Australians to fight back and he made a loud rallying cry to his community, Chinese Australians. Every time he paused to speak, the crowd burst into cheers, applauding his words. So I started interjecting back. He went on to say that he had been targeted because he was Chinese. And when he was under attack, they are under attack. My interjection was simple. This has nothing to do with race. This is about corruption. He broke into Chinese and interject I interjected that I couldn't hear or understand him and I asked for an interpreter. And that's when he directly addressed me. And he said, and he shouted this and he said, I am speaking to my community. I had a simple interjection reply. I'm part of your community. Speak to me. His stunned silence was pretty telling. 
I, or we, aren't part of his community. So they're taking a video, I am too. So everyone, emotions are very high here. People are talking about, hello. Hi. Emotions are really high here. Even the placards here, it's, it's a remarkable amount of logic that did actually go into it. It's a, a passionate group here. Cool. Oh, sorry, hey, how are you going? I'm Chris. That's right. And can you stop it? No, we're in a public space. No, no, I can't. You can't stop. I'm in a public space, but no, no, that's okay. No. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm doing something over here, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you can stay can back. Well. No, no, I'm asking you to stay okay. over there if you can. Okay. Okay. Can you stay over there while I'm doing this? I have to. Okay. I just wanted to shoot you, but you are not. No, that's, 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 a, that's totally okay. You can do that. You just, if you can not okay. get too close, that's okay. I just want to know what you want to do. We can have a chat if you'd like. So, so this gentleman there is a supporter for Sun Jiao. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, My name's Chris. I live down in West Rhine, yeah. so it's good to have a chat with someone who I might have a disagreement with. Um, so, do you want to tell me about what your views about what happened tonight was? I would like to. Not so much. What's your view? My view is that Simon needs to be vigorously investigated. I think this was whatever there is going on. The smell is bad. And he's not coming out and saying something about this. And I want to know why people are supporting him when the evidence on the ground says. What, 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 evidence, what evidence do you have? What the report has come from many. many. Like these. Yeah, what are you saying? Do you need the reports? I believe the reports are worthy of further investigation. One thing I okay. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's fine. But before you, you, you have any clear evidence, you can stop seeing like terrible things or just spread the rumors. Well, it's up to Simon to dispel them. Simon should come out and explain why these rumors are false. And I encourage him to do so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Do you think, I mean, maybe they're true, maybe they're false? We don't I know. think, I think. Simon is being attacked by, by the media. Maybe? No, maybe. It could be. It's for sure. Well, we don't know until we investigate it. And the records that were came in came from government agencies. Are you a journalist? No, I'm an interested citizen who really cares about this. I don't want to see bribe fall into the depths of corruption that I've seen around the world. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. In Australia, if I do want to integrate, but look at it. That's why I tend to look at the, the, those can, those councillors who, who is really doing doing good to the community. We support him because he he's really doing good things for the community. Simon Simon can be doing good. People can do good and they can do bad. They can be two things. We don't know. I see that. Most That's why I see that. Yes, so so a good person can do bad things, and a bad person can do good things. And that's why it's important to find out between the two. Okay. Um, and that's why I think Simon, from the evidence that's been presented by these journalists, they've got to look into it. They've really got to look into it. Okay. Um, and I encourage all of us to look into it as well. I'm glad we're having this conversation, though. I really am. Um, it's important that we all look into to whatever the background, whatever the language. No, 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 the things, you know, what I see is that the, the, the media is having double standards towards Asian people. This isn't about race. No, 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 it is. No, it's not, it's about corruption. Totally is. This is not about race. And if, and if it's about race, then what about other races? You are part of my community. I am part of your community. Yeah. We are in the same community. Yeah. Oh. Or are we not? <laughs> no. No. We are not in the same community. No, no, we are. Good. Okay. Fine. That's the way it is. Simon finished his speech defending himself and got ready to vote for it. And the vote failed. Um... The vote was loaded with too much. It tried to pull down not just the deputy mayor, but the mayor as well. And Labour councillors could never go for that. Liberals were unwilling to, broadly unwilling to change the motion. Labour councillor Kim even explicitly said there were sections of the motion that he would support. 
He even moved a motion that he wanted to vote on just a few lines of the motion, which the major parties rejected unanimously. Liberal Councillor Sarkis stood up and said that this was about corruption, not race, and I agree with him. If there was an Armenian or Italian or British or American councillor that had an allegation of corruption with him, I wouldn't regard it as an attack on any of those communities. In the end, the vote failed because the two major parties saw each other as more of an enemy than the stench of corruption. That was a huge night. And it was I just a huge night. I to ask you, mate, after all of that. Uh, well, very disappointing that uh, Mantis is casting vote. You know, we want to get to the bottom of these allegations. They're very serious, but we can't have this stench hanging over council. Does, does Simon get away with this now? Because that's uh, what a fair few people in the room feel like. Now, I, feel, I feel like he's getting away with this. How do we... What, what, what the hell? All the allegations now will have to be taken up by other organisations. We don't know if they'll do that because council tonight resolved not to refer them. So uh, it now lies on others, not this body here at council, to, um, to decide if they're going to take it up. And that's very disappointing. Then Number one issue that I think transpends most politics around the world is corruption. Yep. Um, as I said, and thank you for supporting my moment to speak, um, was corruption poisons the well of generations future. Um, and no amount of public money can bring back a poisoned well. Um, so, Jordan, keep, uh, keep trying to push Thanks, that fight on it. Good on you. Take Thanks. it easy. Cheers. Thanks for coming. I really believe that Councillor Zhao thinks he hasn't done anything wrong. I really believe that him failing to announce his over $10 million of property interests um, had nothing to do um, with this. I believe the community supports him because they see this as black and white. And I believe them when they see one of their own being attacked, they all feel attacked, as they said to me. But where are the rest of us? Where are those that aren't part of his community go to next? Zhao defeated a motion last night. He won. I've spoken with community and friends and neighbours since. It's someone else's problem. The ICAC, the police, someone else will fix your community's problem. In other words, corruption in our community is someone else's problem. Look, you don't get a say if you can't be heard. Write, phone to counsellors. Heck, write to me and I'll lobby them for you. Come and get engaged. And no, not with that like button, because even if you don't decide, someone else is going to decide for you.